Hey everybody, this is Captain X24. I'm not, and I'm back with another part of Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. What we want to do right now is head back to Lake Helia because we got some bugs in our bottle, and then we'll put the bugs on the soft patch of dirt, and it'll all play out well from there. I hope, because a golden skulltula will pop out. Which will put our total at 13, I believe. There are 10 of these uh, soft soil spots, which means 10 golden skulltolas. And um, yeah, well, I'll be getting them all throughout the throughout our adventure. But for now, we're just gonna worry about this one. Better work. There we go. We got another golden skulltula token. So now what we're gonna want to do is head over to Kakariko Village and then we're gonna claim our first Skulltola reward and I actually said uh, before in some previous episodes that the reward for getting all 100 Skulltola tokens is not that great well it turns out I was kinda mistaken because you can get the reward as many times as you want so it's basically an unlimited supply of it. It's it's great. And uh yeah. It's if, for those of you that have played Twilight Princess, uh, it's much like if you collect all 60 pose souls for that one guy whose soul got stolen. Yeah, I'll just keep one bug for now. And they're all equipped bombs because bombs are cool. Just hop around. I'd like to make it to Kakariko at night time. Uh, may or may not happen. But, it will be nice. No, it's not gonna happen by the looks of it. Well, hopefully it'll be night time again by the time I make it. I'm just gonna walk the normal way. Eat up some time. Ah, forget it. I'm hopping. It'll take me long enough. You'd think Link's back would break by now or something. Huh. Because that's the easy way. Just bomb it. It's not like it's hard to get bombed. Okay, so. Well, looks like it's gonna rain. I think. Is it? Maybe the sky is just turning dark. Because every few days, I think it rains. Plus, in Majora's Mask, it always rains on the second day. Majoria's Mask uses uh, basically just an upgraded version of the Ocarina of Time engine, so. Now, while I'm waiting it out, I want to go test uh, theory. Wait, no. 
I'll be getting that all in due time. So there's not really much to do for the moment, and I'll just cut the video for you. Okay then, and it is night time. So, we can go to kick Erica. In case you haven't noticed, a lot of Golden Skulltillas appear only at night. Some appear at daytime too, and there might even be just a few that appear only in daytime, although that's probably not true. And let's see what this guy wants. Okay then, isn't he a happy person? If I remember correctly, there might be a Skulltilla in this tree at nighttime, but I know there are other Kakariko Skulltillas. Ah, there we go. Another Golden Skulltilla token. That puts us at 14, I think. 14 or 15. Yep, 14. Very nice. And there are more to be found in Kakariko at this very moment. One right there. That puts us at 15. There are actually a bunch in Kakerika. Oh, that's nice. Lots of hearts. Not like I needed them. I want to say... Yeah, I want to say that there's that one right there there or something. I just heard it. And then there's something else really quick we're gonna do before we claim our reward. Brilliant. Get down, Link. Finally. Yeah, I'll just slingshot him. Okay, that's 16. I think there might be just a few more, but I don't know if we're ready for those yet. Also, um, on the map, if you go over an area and there's a gold Skulltilla token, I believe... Yeah, we don't have any uh, yet, but if there's a gold Skulltilla token next to the name of that area, uh, near the bottom of the screen, that means you got all the gold Skulltilla tokens in that area. So, it's an uh, easy way of just finding out, you know? I'll get the box later. Now here, this is the graveyard. We actually have not been here before. And, uh... There's actually a way to... In one of these graves, I believe you can get a free Helion shield. Unfortunately, I forgot about that. But that's okay, because... Well, there's an abundance of rupees. Now, this is Dampe the Gravedigger. And he'll... And if you pay him 10 rupees, um... He'll dig in in whatever his body's at, and um, what um uh, what'll happen is in one of the spots there's a piece of heart. It's uh there's spots of so uh soft soil. I'll show you what they look like. Oh God, I told him to dig right here. Like I believe this is one. And it's uh random where the piece of heart is actually at. Now, unfortunately, this guy takes a while to move. So, um, I'll just let you guys know um, when I actually get it. I'll cut the video. Haha, -ha, I got it! Okay, then. So, here we go. Also, two other things I should show. Number one. Right up here. Another golden skull off. We're just getting tons of them. And number two.
is right over here. Pour the bugs out. Wait a bit. And ta-da. Another golden skull to level. And with that, see you guys in the next part.